Hello everyone and welcome to Moonride, this is Dave Johnson channeling the Man of the Moon. So uh, I am just wondering two things today. It's going to be a political reading. And the first question is, um, it, it, Biden keeps winking at me. Every time I uh, kind of tune into Biden, I'm like, he goes like this. I'm like, what is it? What, what do you know that I don't know? It's like the seeker is going to show up or you know, maybe Biden knows about it. And maybe I'm just looking at Biden's spirit self or something. I don't know. Uh, I want to know why Biden keeps going wink, wink, like I'm going to win. It's a surprise. And I also want to know what Trump's involvement with the Epstein case is. You know, it's all pretty suspicious that um, Epstein uh, uh, committed suicide under his watch. But let's see if this will, you know, touch Trump in any way or um, if any information will show up that um, maybe will have some consequences for Donald. So starting with Biden winking. All right, there he is again. And you know, I gotta say, whenever Biden winks, he looks really hearty. He doesn't look like a person who's, you know, kind of not with it. Um, I, I gotta tell you, you know, Fox News keeps trying to promote this idea that he is this, um, you know, dithering man and he doesn't know what he's doing. I, I really haven't seen any evidence that he is um, in decline at all, right? Um, there's just a few weird moments, but those are just like cut out of the, you know, they're cut out of a full screen to make him look stupid. It's not a, it's not like he can't give a speech. Let's see, why are you winking at me, Biden? And it's almost like a whole array of things. Like Biden shows me like a whole, it's like he's actually showing me a beach. And it's like, look at the number of things on the beach. One of them is um, a war. So I think that something with, um, it it's really looks very much like a, um, almost like a beachfront war. I mean, it could be like D-Day. And um, there's lots of equipment, like lots of uh, war machines, big pieces of metal. All right, what does that mean? I, I do get that it's Putin, uh, that um, this battle is um, really <clears throat> I'm um, gonna help Biden somehow. So show me more. Yeah, I, um, I am um, still quite afraid of what Putin will do in um, Ukraine. It seems like it will have greater consequence than it does now. Uh, it seems like uh, Putin will get um, will do a lot of will create a lot of problems and that um, <clears throat> even his own people might get fed up with him and get rid of him. Uh, I have uh, often seen this happening in March. Let's see. So tell me more, Biden. Like there's some um, this might just be symbolic. But there's these weapons that have a near miss, like I'm getting that it, they come really close to other European countries. And because these like it's like a, like a bomb is, you know, right on the border of Ukraine, Poland or something like that. And uh, it affects the countries around like it's an existential crisis for those countries. And I know um, this war has been kind of eclipsed by the uh, problems in the Middle East that um, <clears throat> that uh, it's sort of like we've been distracted. I believe that Putin completely orchestrated that. Uh, I would not um, be surprised if Trump helped him. But that might be another reading. Let's see. Maybe not another reading. Uh, I think it might come out um, at some point uh, how close and Trump and Putin were aligned. So what else, Joe? Okay, so Joe's also showing, and this is sort of what I was suspecting, that the irony of saying that um, Biden has this, you know, mental decline is that, you know, Trump is clearly uh, declining. 
he is rapidly um, losing his ability even to give a, a speech. Uh, he, you know, there's a reason why he didn't go to the um, to the Republican, you know, nomination function. There, there's a reason why he doesn't um, go speak into in, in places where it's not 100% completely controlled. He could not handle a debate. So show me more about this. I see a confused and worried Trump. I think that um, he is afraid, Trump is afraid that these cases are gonna succeed. And he's, you know, he's already lost one. He's just lost his ability to make any money in New York because he lost that case too. I think he's starting to read the writing on the wall. And, you know, pay attention to this, this, um, deal you know they're just trying to put down this border deal where republicans democrats are you know, finally doing something together to solve the you know border issues and um trump's going up against it if trump does not uh succeed in persuading republican senators he is really going to be in trouble uh, he really doesn't want to give biden a win but if the senators are willing to give biden a win it's pretty much like they've given up and believe me, the senators are very aware of uh, Trump's decline. They're paying very close attention to that, right? So they know, you know, who the people are going to nominate, but they might uh, want to insulate themselves, right? Because this could be a real disaster for the Republican Party. They could lose a lot of seats if they align with a crazy person. So they're watching. Right. And they're deciding right now, do we look to the future or do we look to the past? And do we block this deal? Because everybody's going to know why. Yeah, it's a real big issue, right? It's like the one thing they're running on is the border. And if it looks like you didn't do anything for the border, uh, just for Trump's sake, you're just throwing yourself under the bus, right? Yeah, this is the most important thing right now, actually, is this idea that uh, the Republicans are the ones who will abandon Trump because it's just, it's them or him. They already know they're going to lose. They already know they're going to have a lot of problems because of um, the you know women's choices have been taken away. So they're already fighting an uphill battle. And, you know, these guys are aware of their statistics. People might, you know, you know, adore Trump uh, no matter what, but they don't adore senators no matter what, not one of them. So, yeah, pay attention to this border deal, uh, you know, sort of situation, um, because that will uh, let you know what's going to happen in this election. So that's one other thing Biden's it's, it's like there's a whole bunch of things that are going to happen in the next year that are going to bring Biden a lot of success. And um, yes, Biden is old and uh, certainly we um, want to be somewhat concerned about that. But so far, you know, Biden's been brilliantly successful. And I got to say brilliantly successful. Just look at the unemployment rate. <clears throat> so, you know, if that's what dementia looks like, I'm all for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, Trump didn't do that. Is there anything else you want to show me, Joe Biden? There's an infinite number of cases against Trump. The, um, you know, the very fact and, and I talked about this many years ago, the very fact that Trump cannot respond to these cases, like he cannot respond to E. Jean Carroll, he can't slander her anymore, or he will go back to court. This is really eating his lunch. He doesn't have anything to say. You know, Trump never really had any policies. So um, this is a, you know, sort of an empty set, right? And um, you know, there's just a variety of things, you know, the, the, um, each of these court cases, you know, Biden doesn't have to litigate them. Biden doesn't have to say anything. He just lets the case happen and watches Trump squirm. It's also just taken up Trump's time. 
Trump can't go to events, he can't go to rallies and speak, he can't talk on TV about his court cases because it would be uh, against the law, he could really go to jail. And um, so, look, there's just a bunch of things, you know, until Christmas happened, there was still this, oh, Trump's going to beat Biden, Trump's going to beat Biden, I, I don't buy it for one second. I think these are, you know, excuse the phrase, trumped up uh, polls. You know, I don't think that they are um, accurate. And I think it's way too early <clears throat> to make those polls. Whatever happened, something has shifted. And I can just feel it a sort of um, realization. You know, it's just, I just get the feeling people are not as easily fooled by the memes that they're seeing on the net. They're not as easily fooled by the, you know, crazy conspiracy theories as they were. Those sort of took an ascendance. And now, you know, the average person is, you know, more aware than they were before of when, when they're being manipulated like this. It's just time enough. There's been enough time that people uh, will look at facts a little bit more readily. Is there anything else we need to know about this? Again, I think it does have a lot to do with wars. And I'm pretty sure this is the war in uh, Ukraine, Russia, that that is, a, that is the war. I think um, there's also a, um, you know, it's a possibility that it's the Middle East. Uh, that'll be a subject for another reading. Um, but, you know, I really see uh, the Ukrainian people fighting back and a lot of sympathy for Ukraine. And the fact that Trump was aligned with Putin is just not going to serve him well. So let's take a look then at uh, the um, Trump and Epstein. And here's Trump and Epstein palling around. This is really, I mean, it should be a deal break for any reasonable person. Uh, he overtly, you know, embraced Epstein's proclivity for young women. And um, you know, we can all see him. We can all see Trump hanging around with him, ogling women. Uh, this is just, it's just not excusable. So did Trump have anything to do with Epstein? Well, I see a very uncomfortable Trump. Um, and that young woman who accused um, Prince uh, Harry, sorry, it's not Harry, Prince Andrew, she's there. She also accused uh, Alan Dershowitz. Now, all three of these guys, including Trump, know something. They know a lot more than they're saying. I'm getting a lock on Dershowitz. I'm getting the feeling that Dershowitz was blackmailed into, um, you know, representing Trump. That they would put pressure on him to represent Trump, or they would tell the truth about with about the evidence that they had uh, about him and the island. Mm-hmm. Now, Dershowitz is looking literally scared. All right, and I'm going to go to the woman who made the accusation. Sorry, I can't remember her name at the moment. She's a really odd name, but let's just see what she has to say. She's saying, look, I could implicate 100 people. I'm kind of putting my hands on my hips. I'm like, okay, well, why did you let some of these people off the hook? She's just like, look, I, 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 I can't pursue any of this if I don't have money. So I had to, I had to get money out of a couple of people just to protect myself, physically protect myself and, um, you know, keep my identity relatively hidden. I think this woman lives somewhere in Asia. And um, she's just telling me, look, you don't know what it's like, man. Like, this is, this is, um, 
you know, big time, you know, negotiating life and death kind of stuff. She doesn't exactly point out Trump, but she says Trump knew about it. So it's not a question of, um, <clears throat> she's not certain. Well, let's ask her or anybody, did Trump do it? Did he have sex with young underage women? It seems like he did, uh, if in a sort of tangential way, like I even think that there might be films which he watched. Sorry, guys, I know this is really gross, but um, it's gross to look at Trump just in general. The man has no soul. Um, it just, as I see these things, you just, you just get the feeling Trump has no sympathy for any other human. There's no one but him. And it's just, it's unpleasant to look at. Everyone is a subject of his own exploitation. So he would do that as long as he could get away with it. I think there was a little bit of fear on his part that he would get caught. So um, he actually maybe kept, you know, one step distance. I don't know if he actually did it, but certainly he was aware of it and certainly, you know, as a voyeur took took um, some action. I get the feeling too that there could be um, video of this, that there could be some film out there that um, implicates people. At the very least, he indicated to Barr to get rid of the to you know, get rid of them. You know, too many important people were uh, implicated and um, that way Trump could use the information to blackmail those people. Hmm. Uh, it, it might be that um, Trump imp uh, blackmailed Lindsey Graham as he keeps coming up. I'm looking very furtive. Yeah. And in Lindsay's case, I don't necessarily think it was female. Okay, I don't need to see any more pictures of Lindsey Graham. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, and his weird acts. Let's let's ask the final question here is just like, is there going to be evidence of this? Are we going to be able to prove uh, what Epstein and others did on that island. Well, it's going to be hard because the um, lady who was working with him again, sorry, I can't remember the nouns when I'm entranced, the lady that helped him, um, <clears throat> the English lady, <clears throat> she, um, the one who's gone to jail, she's taken those names with her and uh the thing that's sort of keeping her alive is her promise not to reveal the names in exchange you know they'll try to, they'll, they'll let her out early um but she's proven her bona fides which is she won't talk so she's the one that knows a lot of information but i get the feeling that she does have it as blackmail that if you know she dies in prison too, the names will get released, and she's made that real clear. And I'm not sure what will happen, but there's some danger in prison. All right, so are we going to find this out? I'm seeing a television and us <clears throat> finding out what happened there with just a few of the people and it won't be now it will be in some time like maybe in a f five years or something um well now i'm seeing william barr 
William Barr is like doing a little dance to try to distract us. Um, there is a window of time, you know, Barr has already destroyed some of the evidence. There's a window of time that we can catch a bar and it is closing. Uh, Democrats might have a hearing on it though. Uh, and as I believe the Democrats will win, um, there should be a hearing uh, with William Barr explaining how um, that uh, that uh, yeah, how that murder slash suicide took place? It seems like the window's opening <clears throat> wider, so I feel like we're going to get more information on this. Yeah, we will know more in the future. And back to Biden, and he just keeps winking at me and saying, don't worry, this is all coming about exactly as it's supposed to come out. You know, um, if you feel stressed out by these uh, events, you know, understand that's very normal. All of my clients are super stressed. And it's almost like we're also experiencing post-traumatic stress. The terrors of the last few years are still being worked out by us. So if you feel exhausted, tired, um, if you feel worried, all of those things, I recognize that part of it is just an experience that has passed. It's not necessarily the future. It is the past. I don't think the future is going to be a piece of cake. I think that um, all of these sort of little battles are preparing us for other uh, battles, which might be a, a little bigger, but, you know, we, we are prepared. Keep in mind that we all came together and we did uh, choose Biden. Uh, the Justice Department is doing its job. The um, events are unfolding, which um, will support democracy and uh, freedom and people's rights. So uh, take heart, you know, we've managed to get this far and we're doing okay. Uh, democracy didn't end. Uh, that is thanks to all of us. Thanks so much for watching.